Hey everyone, I'm here eating Prata with Sylvia Rassinelle. Hi. In our previous clips, I talked to Sylvia about the controversy surrounding her shocking loss on season 3 of Singapore Idol. She also revealed whether or not she deserved to win and her biggest regret. But in this clip, the soft-spoken singer tells us about her future plans and how she's coping with the sudden fame. I really was practically nobody. Like I was just working at a, in a hotel, doing a, a secretarial work. And all of a sudden, I'm shoved into this limelight and I am a public figure now. So that is the biggest change for me. Do you feel like you have to be, um, that you are a different person after the whole experience? Uh, I feel like I essentially am still the same person. I don't feel like I need to change anything about that. But just how I carry myself in public, you just have to be more conscious because you are now like a public figure and everybody knows you. Like, um, so you just have to be careful about what you do in public. <laughs> All right, now you also mentioned that uh, handling this whole thing, you actually feel a bit shy when people look at you, is it? Yes, uh, sometimes when I, I take the train or if I'm just walking down the street, you know, like I can still feel people like the way they look at you and they recognize you. Or even when I go to a kopitiam, like here, sometimes it can be kind of uh, uncomfortable because you just feel very uncomfortable when people stare at you. Yeah, but I'm getting used to it, so that's the great part of it. Okay, so you do think that you'll eventually be able to get used to it? Because some people, they can never get used to it, you know, they... Maybe uh, people... I think now with the hype of Singapore Idol, it's still fresh in everybody's mind, so maybe after a few months, people won't really care. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, but um, do you want to be a star? Are you... Um, I want to pursue my my career. I want to pursue my passion. That is my biggest um, focus now. Um, being a star, I feel, is secondary. I really just want to pursue a singing career and be good at what I am. And whether or not stardom comes, like right now, I am riding on the uh, the coattails of Singapore Idol. But whether or not I become a star. That is secondary because I really want to just have a like write really good songs and perform well, make sure that I'm um, in top notch condition when I perform, and that my my uh, fans are satisfied and they are happy. That is my main concern. Sylvia says that although she's not signed to a record label yet, she is working on songwriting in hopes that she'll also be able to cut an album soon to keep her fans happy. So what is she currently writing about? She reveals. Uh, my songs are basically about how a young girl like me is going through life. And uh, I wrote a song about how sometimes you might go through things like getting into relationships and getting hurt, that kind of... Uh, those, those are the things that writing about what I've been through so I can relate to it and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it as well. She may be sugar and spice to many but in the next clip, Sylvia reveals that she used to be something of a rebel.